These alert dialog boxes are getting pretty annoying. We've got a lot of them coming up now. First, it tells us, shh, this is a number that the computer guessed. And then it says, it tells us how many guesses have occurred. And then it tells us whether we've won or we need to enter something. So essentially, three alert dialog boxes every time we take a guess. Well, let's change that. JavaScript allows us to actually change the HTML entirely to whatever we want it to be. So let's make a paragraph with our number of guesses right above this Take a Guess button. If you remember, as we click the various HTML elements, they get highlighted in Google Chrome. So we click the button, the button's highlighted. Click the whole body, everything gets highlighted. Well, we're going to go right on top of the button and create a paragraph here. And the paragraph can say number of guesses and of course initially it's zero right now we want to be able to change this in our HTML in our JavaScript only issue is how is JavaScript going to know that it's this particular element that we want to change the easiest way to do that is to assign this element this P tag or this paragraph in ID because then in our JavaScript code, we can just refer to that ID. So how we do that is it's just an attribute. And we say space ID equals, and we can say guess count. I could, I could have named it number underscore guesses, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to name it something different so we don't get confused. You can name yours whatever you want. So now we have this paragraph with an ID we can reference and some text in it. Well, let's go back up here and I want to delete this annoying alert dialog and instead change it so that that paragraph is updated. Well, let me move this over a little to the left here. And how we do that is when we say document dot get element by ID. And you can see WebStorm's helping us out a little bit here as we type it. And the ID, of course, is guess count. So we're going to say guess underscore count in a string. Now that we have that, that element, we can change the HTML by saying dot inner HTML equals. And you can set it to whatever you want. In our case, we're just going to set it equal to the number of guesses plus guesses have occurred. We don't need this closing parentheses because this is an assignment. It's not a function call. But we do need a semicolon. So let's try this. We have number of guesses, zero. So we take a guess. This should change to one guesses have occurred. So shh, this is the number, 38. One guesses have occurred. Oh. You know, that's strange. Uh, I see that it's still the old code, which means that even though it's supposed to be live editing, it doesn't seem like we are live editing. No problem. I'm going to hit OK here. I should have taken a guess. I have to manually reload this. So now that I've reloaded it, this should take into account. Let me make sure that I've saved this as well. I can click this little save icon. And just to make sure that everything is is uh, fresh. So now I'm going to take a guess. Number's 21. And I hit enter. And now look, one guesses have occurred. We're going to correct that grammar soon. But this looks like it's working. Let's take a guess. 52. Guess was too high. So I hit OK. I'm going to take another guess. Let's see if this, uh, this gets updated. It's 21. I'm going to guess the right answer this time. But look at that. Two guesses have occurred. 21 you win. And now we only have two dialog boxes, two alert dialogs.